Hey guys, Dr. Sean here with another video. I've had a lot of followers ask me about blood flow restriction bands and where you should uh, put them on. And so I'm going to share in this video a little bit about blood flow restriction bands. I'm not going to spend a lot of time about the benefits, so um, I recommend that um, to really adequately understand them. Before you try any intervention, you ought to understand uh, the benefits, the pros and cons. So just Google blood flow restriction bands or BFR bands comma benefits and see the different studies. I will at the outset just share one study that persuaded me to do this and it was uh, involving NCAA division one sprinters. So uh, they took them and they divided into group and I believe the length of the study was six weeks. And what they did is they had half a group wear BFR bands, the other half uh, of the uh, sprinting team did not. And they tracked uh, performance, they repeated, um, I think it was MRI scans was were, were the modality, imaging modality uh, that was used in that particular study. And they looked at muscle uh, density, muscle mass. So in the group that used the blood flow restriction bands um, when they sprinted, uh, those sprinters had more muscle at the end of six weeks. They put on muscle more than the other group did, and they also ran faster. So they uh, reduced their 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 time uh, running, uh, improved their speeds uh, relative to the other groups. So um, what was interesting is they they all did the same workout. So it was because the one group that wore BFR bands were more motivated or something. Uh, they did the exact same workouts, exact same lengths of the sprints, and the same numbers uh, to keep you know keep it apples to apples. So, um, yeah, you'll run faster and you'll build more muscle in a shorter period of time. So, my take on my own anecdotal experience is that's precisely uh, what what I have noticed since I started using BFR bands about two uh, two years ago is that I have I get better results in a shorter period of time. So. I don't have to work out as long and t time is is uh, is precious in my life so I don't have to work out as long and I get better results even uh, than than I did uh, before so BFR bands you can get them uh, on, on lots of different websites I know they sell them on Amazon I'm not promoting Amazon I don't promote anything uh, for at least I have no financial interests or disclosures to make uh, but BFR bands, uh, a couple different uh, uh, different kinds of, you know, the longer ones are for your legs, the shorter ones are for your arms. So, uh, uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll explain where you put them on. So I have some uh, BFR bands on right here, and uh, I'm just going to take these off so you can you can see uh, how to put them on. So uh, where you put them is between your 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 biceps. And your deltoids okay you can probably see that that groove right there because I've had them on so they go they go right in that particular groove and then as far as how you put them on how tight you put them on uh, I can't really describe it you know you just the way I figured it out is I used them so I've been using them for about two years I know uh, I you know the the level of tightness that I like to have them on and uh, too tight. The only ones you really seem to have to worry about getting on too tight are your arms, because you can you can put those on so much that you could really cut off your blood flow to your arms. And how are you going to know that? Well, you'll start to get pins and needles, uh, and also nature is going to let you know. Uh, and a very interesting sensation called pain. So when you get ischemia, lack of blood flow, it hurts like Hades. That's why heart attacks hurt. And if you get an ischemic limb for some reason, it's going to hurt. So if you leave a blood pressure cuff on too long, uh, you're going to rip that sucker off in a hurry. So same thing with uh, BFR bands. The idea behind it is that you want it to be venous, veno occlusive. So occlude the blood flow of the, the venous blood flow out of the limb. So you want to allow the, the venous blood to accumulate in there. And with it, the byproducts of exercise are going to accumulate. So you can't dissipate that. And, um, and then you want to partially occlude some of the blood going into the, the arm, so not quite as much goes into it. And that's going to make it um, 
a more unfavorable environment to work out. So it's a bit like an hormetic experience. So that which does not kill you makes you stronger. So basically, sort of like exercise in a hotter temperature or a colder temperature, uh, less less oxygen. Um, it just it, the byproducts of metabolism ordinarily are cleared through. Uh, working out when you when you do exercise, but if you occlude your blood flow, then it's sort of like cutting down on the the water pump system in a car, and the engine can start to overheat, and the engine works harder. So uh, that's the idea. You get a, a more effective exercise in a shorter period of time, and uh, a good analogy I like to kind of introduce my clients to and the, to understand BFRs. It's uh, not uh, too unlike uh, going to exercise at altitude where you work out at a higher altitude uh, and the, the atmospheric uh, pressures are different so oxygen tensions are, are lower so it's harder to exercise and then when you go to lower levels you've had the benefit of exercising in that and that those higher altitudes so it's similar to uh, to that so venous occlusive accumulates blood um, mildly arterial occlusive not too you don't want to have it too tight in your arms when it comes to your legs um, you want to have it more tight so uh, for it to be more effective so um, what I what I do uh, with my legs where I put them is I, I have them uh, high up in my my groin now um, because I'm doing this video, I have, I have these shorts on, but I also have them on when I ex when I put these bands on. These are you know kind of compression shorts, and the reason is um, when you have these bands on, if you put them on really tight on your legs, and you, it's almost like really you can't even get them on that that tight. But if you have them on too tight uh, or really tight on your legs, and I, I really crank on those things, um, you can you can you can slide them. You know so it's a little bit easier to pull them and you can keep sliding it but if you just have it on bare skin uh, it's really hard for that to slide across your skin you get friction burns it gets stuck so I have noticed after two years I've developed this technique of using compression shorts uh, so that I even when it's on super tight I can still slide it and if I didn't have those compression shorts on uh, I wouldn't be able to slide. It'd be sticking to my skin and, and uh, a, lot, a lot less favorable. So uh, I have them up just about as high as I could possibly get them, and they and they and they go underneath your your gluteal cleft. So um, that's that's where you wear them on your legs. I showed you where you wear them on your arms, and uh, I think you'll have really uh, nice results. We use them in the military. You know, special operations. Um, uh, special forces are using them and we're studying the benefit to them so you can exercise in a shorter period of time and get better results and that's really been my experience I only exercise for about 10 to 15 um, you know minutes uh, a day or so and uh, and that's about as long as I wear these bands you know 10 to 15 minutes especially in the arms I don't like to wear them uh, longer than that and on uh, the legs sometimes I have them on a little bit longer um, but uh, yeah the more you use them the more uh, familiar you're going to be with uh, whether you know how long you want to wear them for and then um, uh, and then watching for signs of either having them uh, too tight or too loose and uh, they're great so um, I have in my experience put on a lot of muscle mass so I'm just about in less than a month I'll be 59 so I have never put on more muscle in a shorter period of time uh, than recently. So I think a lot of it has to do with uh, blood flow restriction bands. And also I've gone zero carbon. <laughs> you know, if you follow me, I do a ton of stuff to optimize my health. I'm a researcher, health and performance optimizing physician. So I, that is my passion. So um, I can't say it's solely attributable to uh, blood flow restriction bands, but certainly they played a role. And so I recommend them for, for all my clients. Um, one other insight I want to share with you is I, I, for about three to six months or so, just had them on my legs when I would do sprinting. And, and then after doing them for about three to six months, I decided, and I'm not even sure why, just thought, well, I'm going to become a more a, 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 a bad fanny. I'm going to put these things on my arms and I'm going to sprint with them on my arms too. And I cannot tell you the profound difference it made going on my arms. It made me so much more short of breath doing the exact same sprints. I was dramatically more short of breath. So here's my explanation for that. These, these BFR bands are venous occlusive. So that means 
the, the venous blood is being occluded for, from returning from your periphery. So that means it, it's basically sequestering in your arms and your legs. And you'll notice when you use these blood flow restriction bands that your arms and legs will get bigger. So um, what I've never seen is people talk, while people do talk about the byproducts of exercise and uh, you can't get rid of those and it makes it more difficult to exercise, my own experience has shown me that you get short of breath because you don't have as much blood now to return through your heart and to your lungs to, deox to, to, to oxygenate that blood and to blow off CO2. So that means two things. One, um, your heart doesn't have as much to work with. So preload is reduced, the amount of blood going back to uh, the right atrium, getting into uh, the ventricle and then going on to the lungs. You don't have as much blood. So it, your heart has to work, work harder because it has less, less fuel essence, essentially to, uh, to, to get the job done and then so do your lungs, right? So you don't have as much blood going to your lungs to distribute through the pulmonary uh, network to offload that CO2 and to get more uh, oxygen. So yeah, you get quite a workout. So it's not just your arms, but your cardiovascular system, your, your pulmonary, your cardiac, cardiopulmonary system are really get a good workout. So for a lot of reasons, uh, they're beneficial. So, um, you know, that which does not kill you makes you stronger. Avoid injuring yourself, obviously, by having them on too tight with your arms. Uh, but uh, yeah, consider uh, using them. And uh, as always, any, um, anything you try, a new exercise regimen, you should discuss it with your healthcare provider to make sure that you're clear to, uh, to do this. Uh, but they, they've been around for 30, uh, closer to 40 years. Uh, they're developed in, in Japan by a Japanese physician who noticed when he went into a certain position, he was kneeling, I think he was at a funeral, and uh, he was kneeling for a long time and it occluded his blood, you know, your legs kind of fall asleep. And then when he got up and was walking around, you notice it was, a, it was a lot harder to walk around. And then he thought to himself, well, maybe this is uh, this permissive restriction of your blood would provide some benefit to exercise and uh, give you better return. So that has been his experience and many other people have noticed that they, they get better exercise results. So I think you will too if you play around with it. Um, hopefully um, you, you stay with this whole, this whole video and you, you, you've uh, learned a few things with it. If you have, give the video a like. Uh, consider subscribing to my uh, channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at D-R-S-E-A-N-O-M-A-R-A, -A -A, Dr. Sean O'Mara. I'm a nonprofit um, uh, health and performance optimizing physician. And uh, as always, I'd love your comments and uh, questions. I'd like to interact with my, my followers. And if you know anybody that's into optimizing their health, consider sharing this video with them. Uh, with them. So uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, watching my video. Uh, for your health, not my profit, Dr. Sean out.